as you can probably tell uh one of my fog lights are out it went out probably a few months ago i have no idea why or when i just noticed it it's funny because i was actually behind a truck when i was driving at night and my reflection off the tailgate was actually showing that i had one out and that's how i kind of knew so really don't ever pay attention to stuff like that until you really look at it but with that being said i got the perfect upgrade as well as replacement i got some diode dynamics uh one of their new set of led bulbs um these are supposed to be a they well they are a plug and play um as well as they're supposed to, they're so much higher quality than the ones that i have now these were some cheap led ones that i had bought off of amazon for like 50 i mean cheap as in like 50 60 dollars so and they lasted maybe about a year or so so now would be a great time to replace these so i got this i'm gonna throw these in get some new upgrades and see how much brighter they are from these if they are any brighter and one thing like i said these come with a much better warranty so if something does go wrong i don't know what the warranty is i think it's a few years and they'll replace it for free um as well as i got a flasher relay when i had replaced these taillights on this car like when i had gotten the car probably like six months ago the taillights that i had had led bulbs in it and every time i turn on my turn signal now it's flashing super fast and it kind of gets annoying so definitely want to get rid of that so that's what the flasher relay is going to do and it should be somewhere in this area from what i remember but not only will this get rid of the hyper flashing this will also give me a few extra features for convenience as the like the one touch Thing on the stock I will show some of this stuff later as well as a few other things with the flashers and hazards um, but let's throw these LED bulbs on and see how nice they are also to looking more at this these actually come with a lifetime warranty so I don't know it doesn't really say it on the box but when I was reading a little bit more on their website these come with a lifetime warranty which is crazy to know that you can get a lifetime warranty on a bulb so but as well if you guys are interested i will put a discount code for these so that way you can save a little bit of money on any diode dynamic stuff that you may want so yeah in the box too and these are a fanless design so there is no fan that will run to try to cool these and it's a very simple it's a very simple and clean design so not too long of a cord because i have had some that like this cord is super long and obnoxiously longer than it needs to be but these are designed to last a really long time and i think too without the fan these definitely have no other mechanical things that could really go wrong with them so they're just an led bulb so let's pull off the bumper probably do this without taking your bumper off but just for ease of use, I'm going to take the bumper off. Got the bumper off. And one thing that I can already just tell you um, that I noticed when I went to go take this fog light out. Um, the thing, the mount broke off inside of here so that just shows you the cheap ones aren't always the best ones so just not to prove a point but you bought you get what you pay for so let me take these out and swap over the new one i got that one in so let's turn on the fog lights and see the dial dynamics one versus the cheap amazon one the diode dynamics one is over here and the cheap Amazon ones over here. I 
almost want to say this one looks a little bit brighter on camera than that one if it is it's a smidge brighter um output wise they seem to be the same but obviously this only lasted about a year so let's swap over the other one and that's super simple on how to change these bulbs out and like i said the way they fit too was perfect like i had no issues a lot of times with these these things never fit how you want them to and so it's like sometimes they'll come loose but this fit just like an oem bulb So here's what they look like i don't know what you can really see on camera it is pretty bright outside so being able to easily distinguish the fog lights and how bright they are um, shows you how bright they actually are so these definitely would shine really good at night but now that we got the fog lights in so let's hop inside and swap out that flasher relay if i remember correctly the flasher relay is behind this panel here Hopefully you can take it apart without breaking anything. And then if you have your cruise or your traction control and your mirror controls, you can just unplug those. And now if you're looking straight at it, you'll have the red pink one, a a lighter blue, and then the darker blue. So we're gonna want to yank yank out the the darker blue, well the one all the way to the right. From what I remember, this was in there really tight, so you'll have to wiggle it. Alright, so I got this out. I used some pliers. Pliers definitely would help grab it. Um, there is no clip. I thought there was a clip at the bottom, but that really doesn't do anything. So, but out with the old. And in with the new. So, one other thing too, if you want to replace this with a normal one, it's a lot cheaper. But if you want the one that has the fancy things with it, I'd recommend you spend it. And this is like 80 bucks or something like that. So $80, $90 um, versus the one without it um, is like $25, $30. So, and the cheap one will only get rid of the hyper flash. It will not add any of the special features that this one does. So, but now that I remember this, there will be some modification needed. Um, not much. If we take a look at the stock blue one and the diode dynamics one on the right, um, you can see one thing is there's some clips that protrude out. These, from what I know, are more designed for a Subaru, but Subaru and Toyota happen to have very similar uh, flasher relay modules, but Subaru has the extra like clip on the side here, while Toyota, they have a slightly different clip. But prong-wise, everything else is the same. So I'm just going to take some... Like wire snips and just cut this flush and that should solve my problem here and then we will just push this thing back in and then i'll show you some of the features that this comes with got some of these pliers that are pretty much like a wire snip i'm just going to kind of cut it flush super simple super easy to cut off you could probably do this with a razor blade too if you needed to it's not perfect perfect you can see like it sticks out just a little bit, but I don't think that's going to interfere with anything. Um, but the little piece that I cut off right here. So now also to the way I took this off, you'll have this little clip thing on the bottom that goes on the bottom. So then we'll just bring this back in and push it on. It does take quite a bit of pressure to push this back on. But you'll feel it snap right in and... That's pretty much already done. Let's just turn the car on real quick. 
and we'll see if it hyper flashes. So, blinker goes straight back to normal. As in, perfect. Like I said, that fixes any LED turn signal bulbs that you have. This will fix that hyper flashing problem. It's a lot cleaner way of installing it versus putting the resistors and stuff like that where you have to like solder them in and ground them on the car because they get hot. This is such a simple, easy fix. Like I said, if you get the smart tap feature, um, comes with a few extra goodies that the little thing talks about. I don't know if all of these work on the Toyota, but um, we will test all of them. Because I think on my last Corolla, I don't think the arrival and departure lighting worked. But I think it was also because I didn't have keyless entry, so... Or my car didn't come factory with keyless entry. But one of the things that I love about this is... And a lot of newer cars, you could just tap the turn signal stock. It'll blink like a few times. But in these cars, as soon as you tapped it, it'll just do one. And that was it, unless if you held it down. But now, with that smart tap relay, you press it once. And I think it'll give you three or four blinks. And there are some ways to actually configure that too. Uh, I'll have to watch a few videos on that, but I know there are a few different ways that you can add more blinks, make less blinks, um, and things like that. But that is one of the, one of my favorite things that it adds, a nice little convenience feature. But now the next couple things that it adds are, we'll hit the hazards button. Um, and it adds the strobe feature. Again, this is only for like your hazards and stuff. This isn't on your actual blinkers. And there's a few different settings on here too for like the strobe hazards, unique hazard functions and stuff like that. They call it like wigwag and stuff like that. So if I push this down, it'll do a slower triple blink. And then if I push it up, it'll do a wigwag. So it'll go left, right, left, right type of thing. Like I said, I know if you watch any videos about this, they do have the arrival and departure lighting, but at this second, I don't have keyless entry because I don't have a actual key fob because when I bought the car, it never came with one. So it's really hard to actually test that. And like I said, it didn't work on my last Corolla, but it didn't have keyless entry from factory. So I don't know if it needs that to work, but yeah. So there is a few other little things that you can tweak on here too, but I'm not gonna get into the nitty gritty on it, but it is cool to add a few extra little features on your car. Um, we can go on the outside and take a look at what the wigwag actually looks like with the hazards. So we'll take a look at what it looks like first. So you can see it's just the triple blink on both lights and then if we flip the switch up it gives you a wigwag type of strobe so which is actually pretty cool like i said it's an interesting thing uh, more of just like a a fun thing to do if you're just sitting around and like at a car show or anything like that, that you can just kind of make your car look a little bit more unique. All right, so now we can plug everything back up. Very simple upgrades, so definitely recommend it. Like I said, even just go with the cheap one if you're trying to get rid of the hyper flash. Very simple way. I know not all cars come with a flash relay, but these, I know the 10th gen Corolla does come with it, so. Very nice and easy swap of this. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys are new, don't forget to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys next time.